we continue discussing the emotions. This time we talk about worry. Worry is one of the most common emotional causes of disease in our society. The extremely rapid and radical social changes that have occurred in Western societies in the past decades have created a climate of such insecurity in all spheres of life that only a handful of Taoist sages are immune to worry. Here is the clinical picture of worry. So the complexion is pale. The patient may have dry cough with uncomfortable feeling in the chest, slight shortness of breath and tensing of the shoulders, indicating a lung involvement. There will be tight lung pulse and abdominal distension, which uh, indicates a spleen involvement. Worry, not chi, which means that it causes stagnation of chi and it affects both lungs and spleen. The lungs, because when one is worried, breathing is shallow, and the spleen, because this organ is responsible for thinking and ideas. Thus, from this point of view, worry is the pathological counterpart of the spleen's capacity for concentration and focus. So here is a summary of the effects of worry. Worry, by nothing the chi, can actually involve the lungs, the heart, and the spleen. For the lungs, we can have two patterns, lung chi deficiency or lung chi stagnation. Nothing the chi also can affect the heart by producing heart chi deficiency and heart chi stagnation. And lastly, it can uh, involve the spleen, leading to spleen chi deficiency and or spleen chi stagnation. Chapter 8 of Spiritual Axis confirms that worry not chi. Worry causes obstruction of chi so that chi stagnates. Worry may affect the spleen as well, and chapter 8 of the spiritual axis confirms that. In the case of the spleen, excessive worry injures the intellect. Lung 7, so worry not lung chi and causes lung chi stagnation. Lung 7 is the best point to treat lung chi stagnation deriving from worry. In a few cases, worry may also affect the liver directly, causing either liver chi stagnation or liver yang rising. In both cases, when worry affects the liver, it affects shoulder muscles, causing pronounced stiffness and ache of the trapezius muscles. The symptoms and signs caused by worry will vary according to whether it affects the lungs or the spleen. If worry affects the lungs, it will cause an uncomfortable feeling of the chest, slight breathlessness, tensing of the shoulders, sometimes dry cough and pale complexion. The right front pulse position, the lungs, may feel slightly tight or wiry, indicating the nothing action of worry on the chi. When judging the quality of the lung pulse, one should bear in mind that in normal circumstances, this should naturally feel relatively soft in relation to the other pulse positions. Thus, a lung pulse that feels as hard as a normal liver pulse may well be tight or wiry. If worry affects the spleen, it may cause poor appetite, slight epigastric discomfort, some abdominal pain and distension, tiredness, and a pale complexion. The right middle pulse position, the spleen, will feel slightly tight but weak. If worry affects the stomach as well, which happens if one worries at mealtimes, the right middle pulse may be weak floating. Finally, like all emotions, worry affects the heart, causing stagnation of heart chi. This will cause palpitations, slight feeling of tightness of the chest, and insomnia. Worry is the emotional counterpart of the spleen's mental energy, which is responsible for concentration and memorization. When the spleen is healthy, we can concentrate and focus on the object of our study or work. The same type of mental energy, when disturbed by worry, leads to constantly thinking, brooding, and worrying about certain events of life. So to summarize, worry is one of the most common emotional causes of disease in our society, and it knots the chi, which means that it stagnates the chi, affecting both lungs and spleen. In some cases, worry may affect the liver. Like all emotions, worry affects the heart, causing heart chi stagnation. Thank you so much for listening.